Hello everyone and welcome to another Book Talk with Talia. What's that I hear? What's over there? That's right, it's the Tolly Days! The most wonderful time of the year when you can gather around with the ones you love and give, give, give! We've got wrapped boxes, lights of some sort, a snowman in the snow, polar bears, a steaming mug of a delicious drink, a person <laughs> with a, another person, moose, I think. So today I'm going to give you a list of 10 books that you can give to anyone you love, or if you love yourself, just give them to yourself. Let's get right into the video. For your friends who like animals, and particularly dogs, try Bad Bella by Ali Standish. So this book is told from the point of view of Bella the dog. Bella originally lived with a family that didn't pay much attention to her. She also got in trouble for things like trying to water the Christmas tree by peeing on it. The family eventually decides that they can't deal with bad Bella anymore, so they take her to the animal shelter. Thankfully, Bella ends up getting adopted by a young couple. Now Bella's getting the attention that she deserves, but she's kind of afraid that she's going to end up abandoned again. When the Christmas season starts to come around again, Bella can't help but wonder if this year maybe she'll have a true home for Christmas. And the best part, this book is also based on the author's real-life rescue dog, Bella. And that was Bad Bella by Ali Standish. If your friends like robots, pick up Cog by Greg Van Eekout. Cog is an android built for cognitive development, but he looks just like an ordinary 12-year-old boy. Cog lives with Gina, who tries to teach him how to do things so that he can become independent. Unfortunately, Cog gets into an accident, so he's sent back to the scientists that created him at Unimind. Cog does not like it at Unimind, and with the help of some of his friends, he decides to break out and go on a mission to try and find Gina. But the scientists are looking for him, and Cog's special powers might not be enough to keep him safe from them, and they want to probe his brain. And that was Cog by Greg Van Eekhout. If you're looking for something contemporary or set in the real world, check out Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. 13-year-old Patricia, widely known as Sweet Pea, is just trying to make it through seventh grade when her parents announce they're getting a divorce. Sweet Pea's parents promise her that nothing will change, and they even buy houses on the exact same street. The house in the middle of her parents belongs to the local advice columnist, Miss Flora May. When Miss Flora May goes on a vacation, she asks Sweet Pea to forward her letters to her. But Sweet Pea ends up getting drawn to a letter that has familiar handwriting, and she starts opening up the letters and responding to them herself. Of course, this sets off a chain of events that will forever change Sweet Pea's life. And that was Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. For your friends who love action, adventure, and time travel, try out Throwback by Peter Larangis. 13-year-old Corey lives in New York City with his family, but his grandpa left a year ago and Corey misses him every day. As time passes, it seems less and less likely that Corey will see his grandfather again. But one day, Corey sees a picture that's very old, from 1862. And when he looks at it, he actually time travels back to 1862. From there, Corey finds out that both he and his grandfather have the ability to travel through time. It turns out that Corey's grandfather has just been stuck in the past the whole time. It also turns out that Corey is one of the only people who can actually affect the past. Corey's grandfather tries to warn him that it's way too dangerous to change the past and he shouldn't do it. But Corey decides to do it anyway. But when Corey ends up stuck in the past, he'll need to find a way to get back to the present alive. And that was Throwback by Peter Larangis. If fairy tales are your favorite, pick up Ogre Enchanted, the prequel to Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. 15-year-old Evie is happiest when she's healing people with the help of her test subject and dear friend, Wormy. But when Wormy unexpectedly proposes to Evie, she turns him down. Evie doesn't want to marry young, and she's not in love with Wormy. But a meddling fairy named Lucinda has been listening in, and she doesn't approve of Evie rejecting Wormy. Suddenly, Evie finds herself transformed from a girl into a hideous, hungry ogre. Now Evie only has 62 days to accept another proposal, 
or she'll be stuck as an ogre forever. And that was Ogre Enchanted, the prequel to Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. If your friends love books that are interactive, try the Confidence Code for Girls journal by Caddy Kay and Claire Shipman. So this is actually a paperback journal based on the book, The Confidence Code for Girls. The journal includes step-by-step -step guides on how to take smart risks, communicate with your friends, and use social media in the best ways. It's also full of fun writing prompts, and it helps you to develop tips, tricks, and strategies to build your confidence. And that was The Confidence Code for Girls Journal by Caddy Kay and Claire Shipman. If you're looking for something literary or inspired by a true story, check out A Wolf Called Wander by Roseanne Perry. Swift is a young wolf cub who lives with his pack in the mountains, and he loves everything about his home. One day, Swift's family is attacked by a rival pack, and Swift ends up getting injured and separated from his pack. Suddenly, Swift has to survive and travel to find his family and a new home. His journey ends up taking him over a thousand miles. And Swift will have to come across forest fires, hunters, highways, and hunger before he can find his new home. Even cooler, this book is inspired by a real wolf that went on a very similar journey. And that was A Wolf Called Wander by Roseanne Perry. If your friends like something a little darker with plot twists, check out Maximilian Fly by Angie Sage. Maximilian Fly wants no trouble, but he's over six feet tall and looks like a giant cockroach, so most people are a bit afraid of him. But Maximilian is really just gentle and shy, and he really wants to prove that he's good. When he sees two wingless children who need a place to hide, Maximilian opens his door to them. But this act of kindness kind of changes his life. It turns out there are dangerous powers after the children. And the city's inhabitants, both roach and wingless, may have a lot more in common than anyone could have thought. And that was Maximilian Fly by Angie Sage. For those who love fantasy and the zodiac signs, look for The Twelve by Cindy Lynn. Usagi was born in the year of the Wood Rabbit, and it's given her extraordinary magical zodiac gifts. But ever since the vicious dragon lord hunted down Usagi's parents and all people with zodiac gifts, Usagi has had to be very careful to keep her powers a secret. But when Usagi's little sister Uma grows a bit too bold with her own powers, she gets captured by the dragon lord. Usagi knows that she has to get her sister back, so she ends up teaming up with the mysterious heirs of the Twelve. Together, they take on deadly foes as Usagi attempts to get to the Dragon Lord and save her sister. And that was The Twelve by Cindy Lynn. If your friends love gaming and Minecraft, pick up Popular MMOs Enter the Mine, which is the second book in the Popular MMOs series by Pat and Jen from the Popular MMOs YouTube channel. In this book, we return to the Minecraft-inspired world where Pat and Jen have just saved their friend Bommy, their cat, and a hundred friendly zombies from the clutches of evil Jen. At first, Pat and Jen think their adventuring days are over, but new holes have started to mysteriously turn up. And even worse, more and more of their friends have started to disappear. Now, Pat and Jen need to find their friends and figure out who's behind all of the mysteries before it's too late. And that was Popular MMOs Enter the Mind by Pat and Jen from the Popular MMOs YouTube channel. And those are all of the books that I have for you today. But as always, if you have any other books that you think are perfect for the Tolly Day season, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything from the Shelf Stuff YouTube channel. I hope you all have a wonderful season. I will see you in the next book talk. Bye!